Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Just a very quick Lightroom video today. I want to talk about something that you should do periodically to make sure that Lightroom runs smoothly. Every now and then, you may go to a folder and Lightroom thinks that that folder should contain a specific image, but that image is missing. Other times, you may have images in folders that Lightroom doesn't know are there. And still other times, Lightroom may have a set of metadata for a specific image written to its catalog, but that specific image has different metadata written to it. So you have a metadata conflict. Well, there is a function in Lightroom that will take care of all three of those issues. It's called Synchronize Folder. And you should do it, I would say, at least once a month. How you would use it is go to the root folder in the library module. So go to the library module, and the root folder is the folder that contains all your other folders. In my case, it's called Lightroom. So you can see my Lightroom folder contains all the other folders. Then once you're in that root folder, right click right on it, and then go down to Synchronize Folder. Now you can see on the left hand side there is a progress bar. So it's starting to search through these folders and what it's looking for are three different things. It's going to import new photos. So if you have some images in folders and Lightroom doesn't know those images are there, well, when you're synchronizing, it's going to find them and just automatically import them into the Lightroom catalog. It's going to remove missing photos from the catalog. So if you have any that are just missing, it'll remove them from ca the catalog. You also have the option to remove them from published services. So if you have, you know, some type of published service like syncing it to Facebook or something like that, it will remove them from there as well. And then finally, scan for metadata updates and it will update the metadata as well. Now, it does take a little while to do this first scan. You can see over here it's taking a bit and the show missing photos in the synchronize button aren't active yet. This show missing photos is a nice feature because if it does notice that there are photos missing in some of those folders, you could click this button and then it will show you the photos that are missing. And then you could right click on those photos and you could then navigate to where they are in your system. So if you're sure that that missing folder photo is somewhere on your computer, you could then find it by clicking on show missing photos. And then when it shows that photo, right click on that photo and then just navigate to where it is on your system. That way Lightroom will update the catalog and say, Hey, that photo is located here and then it won't be missing anymore. Now, as I mentioned, this will take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and let this finish this first kind of synchronization. And when it's done, we'll come back and see what I found. Okay, I finished scanning. You could see that it found one photo in one of my folders that Lightroom didn't know was there. Now I could import it by just clicking that checkbox. I also have the option to before I import it, have it show the import dialog before importing. That way you could see what it is. Maybe you don't want to import it, or maybe you want to save it to a different location. You have that option if you click this box. For this, I'm just going to import it and not click that box at all. It didn't find any missing photos at all, and it still needs to scan for those metadata updates. So what it will do here is if there is a metadata conflict, meaning that the image has metadata written to it that is different than what Lightroom's catalog will say, it will take the newest and that will become the metadata. So it will get rid of that conflict by using the latest metadata. So if you had an image and you had sent it, let's say to a plugin and that plugin changed the metadata of the file, but Lightroom didn't see that, so Lightroom still has the old metadata, what it will do is when it does this scan, it will then take that metadata that the plugin did to the image and save to the image, and it will save that to the Lightroom's catalog, so it will get rid of that conflict. So that's all. I'm going to click Synchronize, and it will do it in the background. You can see that's the progress bar on the left-hand side. And it may take a second because for me, at least, I have 78,183 
images in my Lightroom catalog, so that metadata scanning will take some time. Uh, once it brings in that image, if you're wondering or kind of curious what it may be, what you could do is just click on previous import up here. And up here will be, it says five now, but in this case, once it's done, it will say one. As a matter of fact, I'll pause the video again. And when it's done doing the scan of the metadata, we'll come back and take a look at that. Okay, we're finally done. That actually took quite a while, probably around 10 minutes uh, to scan through all my images and update all that metadata. But it did import that one image that was in a folder somewhere that Lightroom didn't know was there until I synchronized. And you can see it's right here, added by previous import. If I click, there it is. Just a iPhone photo with some flowers. I must have threw in a folder and never imported it. But that's it. That's what you should do periodically with Lightroom is synchronize your root folder so all your folders, all your images get synchronized. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.